guys welcome back okay so today i finally played around in this gigantic profusion kaleidoscope palette <laughs> that i picked up i don't know a few weeks back this has been out for a little while and i wasn't able to grab it it was sold out at the time but i was able to find it at walmart online and i was like you know what i want to check that out of course you guys know it appealed to me because it is extremely colorful i like variety i like range i like beautiful colors so not hard to see why i wanted this palette but yeah it is very very large i think there are 42 different shades in here yeah 42 shadow palette there are pressed pigments glitters it's a lot going on in this palette okay now is it possible to love and hate a palette at the same time that is truly a question that i have because i have a love hate relationship with this palette after using it you know for this first impression i love the colors the pigmentation on the mattes are actually surprising to me i know perfusion is hit and miss but the pigmentation that i got from these mattes was nice the ones that i used very nice now the shimmers okay you guys look at my lids tell me what you think about the shimmers go ahead leave me a comment because let me give you my thoughts on these shimmers now the ones that i used well, the ones that are in this palette, it looks like all of them. No, I don't know, actually. I'll have to swatch a few more. But the ones that I use, you can clearly see that I use them. This one here, this one here, and this gold up here. Now, let me give you a closer look. When you take a closer look at, sorry for my ring light, you guys. But when you take a closer look at those shades that I used, you can see, of course, they're kind of like that super, super shock shadow putty type, you know, deal. And I hate those type of shadows. They just, they feel weird. You know, they're typically for use with your fingers. And you guys know I hate using my fingers to put on shadow. Um, so it's just a whole plethora of reasons why I don't like those but they are gorgeous. <laughs> They're gorgeous on the lid. Now, I did use a brush. I did not use my fingers to apply these because I did a cut crease, so I needed it to be nice and neat and precise, but it was a struggle. It was a real struggle. I mean, it just, it caked up. It became one big clump. I had to like pick pieces off, so... I hate the consistency of those shimmers, but what they do to the lid, I love it. It's so pretty. So I don't know what to say, y'all. It's a love-hate relationship. But let me just do a few swatches. I'm not going to swatch all of these because this is just huge. Um, but let me do a few swatches of some of the mattes, some of these putty shimmers, as well as a few glitters just so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about when I say it has like really nice pigmentation. Now these shadows are powdery, as you can see that orange one, it is powdery even though, you know, it's nice pigmentation. It is powdery. You have to remember these are profusion shadows. You're getting 42 shadows for like 17 bucks, I think I paid for this. So, you know, you kind of weigh <clears throat> the price with the quality, but the pigmentation, as you can see, is there. Let me do a few more mattes for you to see. Well, that purple is kind of like a satiny type shade. Um, yeah, it's like a satiny type shimmer. This green here is a really, really nice matte. Beautiful shade of green. This blue, it's another, it's kind of like, it's a shimmer, but it doesn't have a whole lot of shim, you know? It's really, really gorgeous. I would use that honestly as a matte or a shimmer just because of the consistency of it, but it is so, so pretty. Let me go ahead and swatch a few of these putty type shadows so you can see how they look. 
I mean, these shadows are literally like melting in the pan right now. It's so weird. So I don't know, honestly, how long they're going to last for me because they're absolutely gorgeous, but they look like they are literally melting <laughs> in the palette right now, which I hate because you can see how pretty they are. They are absolutely gorgeous. I'll just do a couple of the glitters. I hate swatching glitter, it's so messy, but these glitters are really pretty in here, so. Ooh, very pretty. So, those are just a few of the glitters. So, so pretty. So, as you can see, this palette, the pigmentation is nice. The shimmers, the glitters, it's really, really pretty. If you like this type of thing, a lot of variety and stuff like that. Only thing that I would say is a negative is the shimmers because of the consistency, but how they look is gorgeous. Now, another thing that I will say about these uh, putty type shimmers is that even though they're gorgeous on the lid, they have super shine, um, I did have to kind of like tap a little bit more on top of it, like after I had finished my eyeliner and put my lashes and stuff on because I noticed that it did start to crease a bit, which I can see is starting to happen again, a little bit of creasing. So a way to possibly alleviate that might be to put a little bit of the matte shadow of a similar color underneath the shimmer. It's kind of hard for me to get around that because my eyelids are very wrinkly and hooded. <laughs> so. I don't have nice, smooth, beautiful, you know, lids to work on. So, you know, they are creasing a bit. So just wanted to put that out there as well. So like I said, I think I paid like about $17.98 for this humongous palette of 42 shadows and I don't regret it. I don't, I, I'm not mad at it because the pigmentation is not bad, okay? It, it's really not. So those are just my first impression thoughts on using this Kaleidoscope palette from Perfusion, you guys. If you'd like to see how I created this kind of green, gold, blue, and purple look today, then stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay, you guys, so I'm starting out today's look using my P. Louise eyeshadow base. And I'm just placing a thin layer of that on my lid with a wide brush and going in with a beauty sponge just to kind of even it out. Now the first shade I'm going into is Witty. It's just a really light shade and I'm using that basically to set my brow bone. Nothing more, just kind of want to get a feel of how these shadows are going to perform. Next, I'm going into the green shade, which is Fern. Very, very pretty green shadow. Nicely pigmented. It does take a little bit of building up, but it's easily built up to the pigmentation and the color that is actually in the pan. Very, very pretty shade. So I'm just using a medium-sized fluffy brush to kind of focus that in my crease and gently blow it out up into my brow bone area. Next, I'm going into this blue shade, Marina. Now, it was my mistake. I should have used the blue shade before the green. Initially, I just wanted to do a green look, but decided to add some blue. Unfortunately, it just created a darker shade of green. <laughs> I wasn't too upset though, because you know, it's just kind of like art in process, but it wasn't as blue as I had hoped. Now I wanted to deep up, deepen up my crease, but in this palette there is no black. So I just grabbed my little smoky three shadow palette that I have from Morphe. It comes in handy whenever I just want to add a black and there's not a black in a palette. So I'm just taking a pointed crease brush and focusing that in my crease to deepen it up a bit. Now for my cut crease today, I'm using a little bit of eye makeup remover to remove some of that color off my lid. If you're doing this, be careful not to get any in your eye like I did. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just carefully taking off the cut crease area before I go in 
with some of my cut crease canvas as a base for the shimmers. So I'm going in with some of my cut crease canvas. I believe I have the shade Halo, which is the white, you know, the brightest one. Taking a flat brush, I'm just following that line that I created for the cut crease, tapping that down, trying to get it as even as possible. Now I'm going into some of these shimmers and I'm just pointing to the colors that I plan on using. Starting out with the gold, this shade is called Provider. Very, very pretty. I would say this one was the easiest for me to work with on my lid. It didn't give me too many problems, but it definitely showed up. It was very, very pretty. I really like this gold shade. Now this green shade on the other hand, oh, it was the worst. I wanted to show you guys what happens when I put my brush into it. It is seriously like putty and it just kind of gathers together. You can see I actually touched pan from moving that putty shadow around. Now it's gorgeous. You can see it here on my finger. It is absolutely gorgeous but it is no fun to work with. <laughs> so I just kind of went in, tapped some of that on my finger and placed it on my lid with a flat brush. And that worked out for me. It's just a little bit more of a hassle. Now I decided to go into the dark blue shade Thunder. It was just too pretty for me to ignore. And I thought it was a matte and I still feel like it is a cross between a matte and a shimmer but I'm just blending that into that green. Now lastly, for the outer portion, you can see here I'm going into the purple shade, which is called Groove. Very, very pretty. And this purple actually has like some micro glitters or mi micro sparkle sparkles in it. <laughs> I can't talk. I, I don't wanna say glitter because it's not chunky, but there are some tiny little shiny particles in there that kind of gives it a little extra twist. Okay, so my complexion is done. Going in with one of my LA Girl eyeliners, very bright green one, one of my favorites. And I'm gonna list everything that I use on my face in the description box, but I really, really love these pencils and this green one, I really, really love. Now I'm going back into that blue shade Marina because I want to see what it looks like when it's not placed on top of another color like that green. And it's actually a really, really pretty blue. Very, very pretty. Same color as in the pan and it's nicely pigmented as you can see here. And next to that, I'm going back into that purple shade Groove and just kind of connecting my outer corner from my lower lash line to that purple that I have on my lid just to kind of bring this look together. So I've added some lashes, a tiny bit of black liner, and now I'm going in with some mascara on my lower lashes. And to set this face in place today, I'm using my Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Spray that I got in my BoxyCharm. And this is the look you guys. So, I mean, I pretty much gave my thoughts in the beginning of the video. I really do have a love-hate relationship with this palette. <laughs> I mean, the colors are gorgeous, but those shimmers just drive me crazy. So that's it you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!